An employee at a family dollar store in Phoenix, Arizona has been charged with murder after Phoenix police say that he fired at least 10 shots at a shoplifter who had punched him in the face. Police responded around 7.50 p.m. to the family dollar store near 68th Avenue and Indian School Road after hearing reports of a shooting. The police found a man shot multiple times outside of the store and the suspected shooter, 24-year-old Kevin Ignacio Salas Madrid, with an empty gun beside him. Kevin Madrid admitted that he was the shooter and that the victim was a serial shoplifter. Kevin Madrid explained to police that he saw the shoplifter enter the family dollar store and told him to leave, given that he was a known shoplifter. An argument between the two ensued. The shoplifter punched the employee, Kevin Madrid, in the face with his left fist, knocking off Kevin's eyeglasses. The employee responded by allegedly pulling out his gun and shooting the man at least 10 times. Once the man dropped to the ground, the employee, Kevin Madrid, then allegedly fired more bullets into the fallen man. So, shot at least 10 times. The shoplifter was rushed to a local hospital where he later succumbed to his injuries. The Phoenix Police Department claimed that Kevin Madrid, the employee, admitted in a probable cause statement that he made the worst decision of his life and he acknowledges that his reaction was egregious, an overreaction. The employee was arrested and booked into jail on a charge of second degree murder. So I'm going to give a bit of a commentary. I'm not a fan of criminals. The victim apparently allegedly was a serial shoplifter or at least was believed to be a serial shoplifter. My understanding is that in America you have a major shoplifting pandemic. Am I allowed to use that word? Epidemic? I don't know. Scamdemic? Whatever we're going to call it. You've got a major shoplifting problem in multiple different states. I don't know if that includes Phoenix but certainly in California. can't remember the full details but it's something along the lines of if you shoplift good up to a certain dollar value it's quite a high value can't remember if it's a thousand dollars i think it might be i think it's several hundred dollars at least if you shoplift in a single incident up to a value of several hundred dollars police won't take any action they won't prosecute they won't come after you so you have serial shoplifters that on the daily probably go around to multiple stores daily or every other day and they go in they still do try to protect their identity they mask up they try to act in a they, they do their shoplifting in a hurried fashion and a targeted fashion they choose specific products as best they can um so they steal things not not necessarily things that they want but items that they can on sell or use for other purposes you have a shoplifting problem you have a, so i don't feel sorry for the victim i'm presuming that the victim is guilty uh, of being a serial shoplifter and with that i don't feel any sympathy for the shoplifter, frankly. I don't feel any sympathy. None. Fuck that guy. Frankly, part of my French. Fuck him. I don't give a shit about him. He's going around. Apparently, if he's guilty. If he's not, oh, I'm, I'm dreadfully sorry. But my presumption is that the employee is accurate, that the alleged serial shoplifter was indeed a serial shoplifter. And with that, fuck that guy. That guy instigated the situation. The serial shoplifter put the employee in a very difficult position. It's the employee's job. Maybe it is, maybe it is maybe I got this part wrong but you would think that a self-respecting employee would do what they can to protect the interests of their employer whether or not there are legal differences to that you know it's just like a natural response that we have and it certainly would have been normalized but in the modern world who knows what you're allowed to do what you're not allowed to do no one's got any idea whatsoever when shoplifters are allowed to shoplift you know what are, what's the employee supposed to do but anyway the serial shoplifter put the employee in a very difficult position the employee reacted tried to protect the interests of the employer likely did so in an emotional way why would that be well because he's a human not a robot humans have a emotions we have adrenaline and things like this we're not robots we don't make the best decisions constantly we don't act in the best possible way constantly especially not when we're in a confrontational situation now this started off as an argument hey mr shoplifter do you mind effing off you're not welcome in this store well hang on employee who are you i'll do what i want thank you very much i'm coming in here i've got some more shoplifting to do right so they have a little argument that's one thing but another thing it goes 
goes to another level, escalated once more by the serial shoplifter, allegedly, when the serial shoplifter punches the employee in the face. Now that deserves, that warrants a reaction. Now, did the employee overreact? Yes, yes, I suppose so. But look, it, it, it definitely warranted a reaction. It just didn't warrant killing the man. But what are you going to do? I don't know, man. I feel sorry for the employee. I don't blame him personally. You know, I'm not there. I don't know this serial shoplifter. I don't give a fuck about this serial shoplifter. I don't feel sorry that he's being shot and killed. Don't, don't, don't bother me. I feel more sorry for the employee because the employee was minding his own business, doing his job, and then some a-hole comes in again and tries to steal from the company again, causing problems, putting the employee in a difficult position, proceeds to argue, proceeds to be violent towards the employee. Of course, the employee is going to respond. Of course, you know? And he responded, he overreacted. He had a gun on him. I don't know if that was legal or not. Perhaps it was. Phoenix, guys, you're all strapped, aren't you? Should he have shot the man 10 or more times? No. Seems a bit excessive, doesn't it? But again, this is heat of the action. Is that the right term? You know, he's pumped full of adrenaline. He's angry. He's being punched in the face. He's sick and tired of all of this shit. From this guy, the other guy, this problem, that problem. I mean, the employee snapped. Maybe that's something that needs to be looked at. Are people snapping too quickly nowadays? If so, why? Probably a myriad of reasons. But anyway, I've waffled too much. I've waffled too much. To me, the employee, he said that he realizes that he's made the worst decision of his life. He acknowledges that his reaction was egregious. So to me, that shows in the first instance, remorse to quite a high level would be my interpretation. And I would hope that that is recognized and respected by the prosecutors, by the judge, the magistrates, whoever it is that's going to sentence this man to jail, Kevin Madrid, the employee of the family dollar store in Phoenix, Arizona, he will be sentenced. He will be jailed. I just hope he doesn't get too long of a sentence. I don't think he deserves it, but you know, you might well disagree. And again, I don't feel sorry for the uh, serial shoplifter. That serial shoplifter instigated all of this and he's lost his own life. The serial shoplifter has lost his own life and seriously harmed the life of Kevin Madrid. 